All right, I'm starting the uh, body of the uh, dog. I've got the uh, scale for the dog, I think, about right. And I'll just show you real quick. Time to play with some clay. I think that's a good size compared to her. So uh, that'll, I'm going to put the dog probably about that close to her with his paw up on the uh, blanket and uh, we'll see what I could do. You know, it, I got to have it within her direction of her vision. And uh, hmm, my clay's a little hard. And that's because the uh, light went out over my clay, and that's what keeps it soft. And so I had to uh, change the light bulb. And it hasn't quite got the clay where I like it. Now, this was the original little rust sketch I made the other day and uh i figure why waste the uh, ball of clay <laughs> anyway let's see where's my calipers there you are okay and his body it's about that wide, okay. I'm going to do the little body first, the main body of the dog first. I'm just going to work it out. I got a front view of the uh, dog over here. And it's the same dog as it's in this picture here, which makes it nice and easy to uh, see what he looks like from both sides, from both angles, I mean. What I did was I got two photographs, or actually one photograph, and I just flipped the, the figure of the dog so that when I'm working on the other side of the dog, I don't have to trans pose or adjust my eyes now never mind it just works better this way i'm thinking i'm going to put a some simple wire armatures in the clay and uh yeah Now I gotta make it symmetrical. I don't want to have more of a body on one side and less on the other, so. Okay, I'm just blocking in the leg, the rear leg, I mean. It looks like the fur pretty well covers. Down to the ground. I'm just not sure it's going to work out yet, but I'm going to try it.
if you look at the photograph, there's not much of a paw that comes out from under his folded leg. He's got shoulders. Yeah, that's about right. Which means his belly isn't quite that fat. It looks like there's just a little fold of fur and skin underneath the fur above the leg where it is pressed up against the stomach. So I'm probably going about this a whole totally wrong way to start this little bu buzzard. But I'll stick with what I'm doing and hope it turns out okay. Because he's raising his leg up, that would also change the shoulder level. Let's put this over by her and see if that works out. All right, I got her arm pretty well anchored in here. And I'm just going to have to to move it, I'm going to have to cut the whole damn hand off the lap, re sculpt the lap.
That works good right there. I'm going to have to re-sculpt this hand a little bit. And the wrist. Not a big problem, it's just re re rethunking it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put her hand, um, or this dog, back over here. I like that positioning, and uh, get the dog out of the way. Now, let's see if I can bend this wrist a little bit. Yeah, like that. I'm going to open her hand up. Uh, well, maybe not. I don't know. I don't like her having a fist. Hmm. Gonna have to anchor that arm down because it wasn't meant to be there. Doesn't hurt anything, it just moves it over about two inches. I'll work on that later. I'm gonna go ahead and keep on working on the dog. I'm gonna have to do some searching on the web for photographs of this breed of dog looking up. And, uh, because it's not working right now. There's a fold of fur at his neck. Well, that changes the feeling of it once you put the eyeballs or eye sockets in. I mean, at least indicate where they are. The muzzle looks good. It's the right length, according to the picture. Yeah. How's the thickness? Thickness is good too, so maybe this should work out after all. Okay, I'm not sure I like it yet. I'll stick with it for now. I'll pick this up next week. Uh, hopefully, I'll figure this out. All right, everybody. Have a great night and a uh, great weekend. And I'll see you next week. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.